everybody, it's Robin and welcome to the Robin's Nest. Today on my channel, I'm going to be making a very special cake. My little guy's birthday is right around the corner and he loves everything Mario. So I'm going to be making him this super cute paper Mario cake. This is going to be so much fun. I just know he's going to love it. So let's get into it. So for today's cake, I baked up three six inch vanilla cake layers and I'm just going to begin by leveling these out using my trusty cake leveler, which I've already preset to my desired height. Now, if you guys don't have a cake leveler at home, a long serrated knife and a good eye will do. So I'm just going to trim these down, get things cleaned up. Then when we come back, we can start to fill our layers. And we're going to reserve our scrap layers for the tiny top tier of our cake. Now I want this cake to be extra yummy, so I'm gonna be using a couple of different things to fill my layers. First of all, I'm gonna be using some homemade strawberry American buttercream. Now I've made this using my standard vanilla American buttercream recipe, and I've added a couple of drops of a concentrated strawberry candy oil and a couple of drops of pink gel food color. Now next, to add some texture, I've crunched up some golden Oreo crumbles, and we're gonna be using that on top of our strawberry buttercream. So we're going to begin by adding a little bit of icing to our cake board so we can attach our cake to it. We're going to add our first layer and press that down. Then we're going to do a layer of icing, a layer of cookie, a layer of cake, a layer of icing, a layer of cookie, a layer of cake. And then we're going to do our crumb coat and pop this in the fridge to chill. And then when we're finished, we're going to repeat all those steps for our tiny top tier. So for our crumb coat, we're gonna switch it up a little bit. Now, I love strawberry, but I don't wanna overpower the cake with strawberry flavor. So we're just gonna be using some vanilla American buttercream. So I'm just gonna be using a small offset spatula, and we're gonna use this to spread a nice thin layer all over our cake and smooth it out. All right, so I finished sealing in all my crumbs and I'm happy with how smooth my icing is. So I'm gonna pop this in the fridge to chill while I work on my tiny top tier. So while we're waiting for our cakes to chill, it's time to start working on some fauna decorations. So as you can see, I've drawn up some really cool stencils here, and we're going to use these as a template to hand paint onto some white fondant. So we're going to start by mixing up our fondant with a little bit of Tylo powder to make it dry a little bit faster. Then we're going to apply our stencils and hand paint our little characters on with a mixture of water and gel food color.
All right, guys, here they are. What do you think? I really hope you like them. I think they turned out awesome, and I think they're going to look really good on the cake. So I'm going to set these to dry in my food dehydrator because I want to give them some time to firm up and to allow our paint to fully dry. And in the meantime, I'm going to go grab our cakes, and we're going to get them covered in some fondant. Well, I hope y'all are enjoying the video. If you are, you know what to do. Leave me a big thumbs up and leave me lots of love in that comment section too. All right, we are on the final stage of this cake and I am about to conquer this castle. And I'm gonna do so using the paneling technique. So I'm gonna roll out a large piece of this gray fondant and we're gonna cut out some panels and apply them to, apply them to the top and sides of our cake. Then I'm going to repeat that same process with our tiny tear. All right, now that I have my paneling finished, it's time to make this castle look a little bit more like a castle. So I'm gonna come in with my plastic veining tool and I'm going to mark off my brick pattern all the way around each of my cakes. Then I'm gonna come in with a soft brush and a little bit of watered down gel food color and we're gonna give our brick a little bit of texture. Once I'm finished with that, I'm gonna add a few little bricks around the top of each of our tiers and then I'm gonna add some simple windows and a door. All right, everybody, we're almost done. We just have a couple of things left to do. I need to stack my cake. I wanna put a little bit of grass and maybe a walkway on my cake board, and then I'm gonna add all my little characters, and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all finished. Well everybody, here it is. It's all done and I think it looks fantastic. I am so happy with how my little characters turned out. I think they are so cute. I just love to paint so much. It's so much fun. And I think my castle turned out pretty good too. What do you guys think? Well guys, that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that big thumbs up button and leave me lots of love in the comment section too. And if you haven't done so already and you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button and ring that bell so you receive a notification every time I post a new video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.